This one's called the uh, Drink Till You Drop. And this is called from Top Music Cut, and I'm sat here with Bad Carolina, and I will start from this side and find out who they are and what they do. Well, I'm Brookie, I'm rhythm guitar. I'm Finley, I'm bass. I'm Isaac, and I, I sing. I'm Brandon, and I'm drummer. I'm Mitch, and I'm lead guitar. And you can send in what you think Mitch looks like. Um, so we just listened to you play, and and no drummer here, we're a bit nervous. Now I. I didn't notice any mistakes your guys might have, but I thought it went down really well. I mean, what do you think? It went as well as we could have hoped for for pretty much first time, a little debut gig. It went really well. I was really happy with it. So this is your first ever gig? As this band, yeah. As this band? Yeah. So how long have you been, how long has this band been going together? Uh, really, it's been like, we've like sort of been since mid twenty six, mid 2017, but... We've sort of gone through like some changes and like reformed and. We were a gig, but uh, uh, we were a full band in 2016, but a lot of things ended up going wrong and a few winners left, and then at the end of 2017 we all ended up getting back together, and then ever since then we've just knuckled down and focused on it, and we've ended up having this first gig. You see, that's what's, that's what's something, one thing I keep going across with, with loads of musicians, you seem to see two different types. There's the ones that just seem to do it, and there's the ones that really put some serious hours in, and they don't just do practice, they, they put some serious hours in. I mean, your guys must do like that. We, um, we come here um, every Tuesday, and we come for two hours, but because of his gig, this week we came, uh, Friday. We came Friday for an extra two hours as well to try and get a song spot on for this performance um, but I feel like we did as good as we can If I put you down and I listen to you I thought heavy rock stroke metal is that a fair assessment is that it's more hard rock like so I like well, it's heavy rock in it, but yeah. it's like heavily punk influenced. So we like we we class ourselves as like hard rock mixed with punk because there is a lot of punk in it. And it's because of his vocals as well. It f it fits to it, but it's got like a kind of hard rock punk voice. It's it takes the elements of American hard rock of the eighties, guess which bands, and then it brings it in influences of British punk in the seventies and eighties as well. Yes. Um, that's what we come I thought there was a little bit of blues in there at some point in yeah, the education. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's me. <laughs> that, that, that is 100% yeah. me with the blues. Are you a person, Yeah. We, we did have, um, obviously because there's kids and stuff, we've had to cut bad language out. We did have uh, one of the songs, a couple of the songs with obviously swearing in it. And in my opinion, it sounds a lot better with swearing, but it still sounds good with, it, with it our... Yeah, yeah. Sounded good. It really like sounded good to play them live, like because we'd been playing them in the rehearsal space, and it was like, yeah, we've got it. We're not, we're playing them. It's fun to play. And then when we, like did the gig, then it was just it's like we've got people watching and they're actually enjoying it. Like it gives you that sense of accomplishment, like you've made music and people are actually enjoying listening to it. <laughs> Have you got any albums out at the moment? Have you got any albums coming up? Have you got any plans for any? We've just recorded this first EP. We've still got a little bits, little bits to do to finish it off. But after we've done that, I think we're gonna keep doing more gigs, and then finally release this EP, and then after that, just see how it goes. How do your guys go around getting a song together when you want to write one of your own tunes? How do you, what's the process that you go through? Um, you mainly <laughs> write yours, but he mainly yeah. writes his parts, and then after that, we all kind of work on his own. Like the, the thing part, is, but... I write the basis for everything, and then I'll send it over to Isaac. He'll write the vocals if he likes it, because I always send it to him first, because there's no point in him doing anything with it if he doesn't dig it or anything. So. What we do is, I 
I just do little demos at home, send it over, say, do you like this, or is it rubbish, pretty much. Because everybody has dry spells, you, you write something, and then it's not quite there, or it's either amazing, or there's something missing or you need to change it. So I do that, I send it to him first, and then if he says, yeah, let's do it, I start sending it to him, so he can lingard, so he can do drums, and then we just bring it and I teach. Parts so after, that, after that first part then, I mean obviously you all got to work together if you all got different parts but yeah. it's got to suit your voice then hasn't it really? Yeah, I mean most of the time it does. Because um, we all understand this, yeah. ta- this style for his voice. Because yeah. obviously we're all at the same college and we're all at the same course. Apart from Finlay, he's not at his, on his course. Yeah. But we've been in the same band before at college. like doing songs together yeah so we understand all what style we're doing what kind of music we're playing we, we know so. how each other work and we're able to work around each other to make sure everyone fits are you finding um, I mean I know you early on like are you finding that you're having to change your style or your music to a certain degree as time goes on you know how different phases of music come through and different genres start taking not, more preference so. not really it's like I try to keep it as broad as we possibly can if I write something and then take it to others or if somebody else writes it it's weird because we always try to keep the same type of genre but we mix it up but keep it that way so we have that song Enemy which is like heavily funk based but it still has everything that we need to make it how we want it Thank you very much for stopping. I'm glad yes. you forced this lot into coming and doing this interview. Um, we've got their track, we'll put it over top of this interview and I promise you something, you will actually love it. You really will love it. Thank you very much. And we've all got to, now we've got to end, we've all got to strike a pose.